So having covered the special version of the call instruction that is used to far call to a call gate and use segmentation to transition privilege rings, Kylo Ren demands that I go back in RTFM to explain the other conditional cases that I skipped in Architecture 1001. And who am I to say no to a dark man-child of the Sith? So back in Architecture 1001, we saw, you know, there's many different forms of the call instruction. And at the time, we only focused on these forms, a call near relative and a call near absolute indirect. We said there's no sort of thing called a call short and so forth. But what we skipped at the time and said we would come back to in Architecture 2001 are the things that call far. Now, this one right here, we're not going to cover because it's invalid in 64-bit. But this right here, call memory 16 and then a 64-bit value, well, that kind of looks like a far pointer or a logical address. So in 64-bit mode, if the selector points to a gate, like a call gate, then RIP equals the 64-bit displacement taken from the gate. Else, RIP is a 64-bit offset from the far pointer referenced in the instruction. So this is actually referring to two different forms. This could either be calling through a call gate or you could just be jumping around between segments uh, without actually transitioning through a call gate. Sort of depends. So we already covered the call gate example, and if this is not the call gate example, then it is basically an intersegment transition, but it is not one that has a privilege transition. The only way you can do those privilege transitions is if you jump through the call gate. So you could bounce from, if you were using a multi-segment model, which as we said, no one does, you could bounce between one segment to the next. And again, the far pointer versus near pointer, it's all just to say that far pointers have the segment selectors and the 64-bit offsets. So later on in the call instruction manual, it talks about you know the different forms, the four forms of the calls. There was near call, that's exactly what we covered in Architecture 1001. There's far call, and so this would just be calling to a procedure located in a different segment than the current code segment. And so this is an intersegment call, but you can see by the difference, this is implicitly saying it is not a interprivilege call. So this is saying at the same privilege, you can have a far call, but if it's a interprivilege call, interprivilege far call, then that means you're jumping to some other different privilege level. And that is the call gate mechanism that we just saw. The final form that we haven't seen yet is called a task switch, and we'll talk about tasks in a future section. All right, likewise to the call instruction, there was the jump, and we saw many forms of jump, but we skipped over things. So the 64-bit far jump looks like this. Again, we have an invalid version, and we have something that takes a far pointer, and this is a jump far absolute indirect address given in this far pointer. So again, this is just a way to do intersegment jumps, but they can't be intersegment privilege level transfer jumps because that's not a supported mechanism.